מצווה ווידוי, before יום כיפור and throughout the year, it's a מצווה דאורייתא. says in the Torah, והתוודו את חטאותם. And the Rambam explains that when we do תשובה, we need to do וידוי as well, to confess our sin. Actually, since it's a מצווה תעשה מהתורה, if a person made תשובה, but he didn't do וידוי, he was מבטל מצווה תעשה מן התורה. And therefore, we need to learn a little bit ההלכות of וידוי. First, we need to know that just like any מצווה מן התורה, one need to have כוונה that I'm מקיים right now a מצווה מן התורה. That's called מצוות צריכות כוונה. According to Shmuel Kamenetsky, if one didn't have that כוונה, he wasn't יוצא מצוות וידוי altogether. In order to be יוצא מצוות וידוי, since מצוות, מצוות צריכות כוונה, one needs to know I'm right now מקיים מצוות עשה of וידוי, והתוודו את חטאותם. person needs to think that before he does וידוי. Secondly, a very important halacha is וידוי must be done standing up. שולחן ערוך says, in סימן תפרש ז' צריך להתוודות מעומד. One must stand up for וידוי. The reason for that, the משנה ברורה explains that החייה ודרך הכנעת פי הוא מתוודה בלב שלם. Person feels הכנעה, person opens his heart when he stands up, not when he's sitting down. And therefore, he should not lean on anything, says the משנה ברורה. If you lean on something, on a table, on a stand, on something, and that leaning was well enough that if you pull out the table, the person falls, that leaning is not considered standing at all. And according to many mefarshim, one was not Yotzei Vidui. And therefore, we need to be very careful to, when we do Vidui, not to lean on anything. Even more than that, Mishnah Bura says that one needs to bow down just like he does in Modim. Now in Modim it says that he needs to lie, lie down so much that it pakekul kul yotav, which means his back would be completely back like this, uh, bow down like this. And even for somebody that's hard, he should a little bit uh, bow towards uh, the front, but that is halacha that's brought down in the Mishnah Bura. When one does vidui, he needs to understand what he's saying. This is confessing the sin. So therefore one must know what he's saying. Chaya Adam explains that one needs to know at least the first three words, and that's the essence of the vidui, that is the, the, the ikar of the vidui, and that is chatanu avinu pashanu. If one doesn't understand what he's doing, it's not called a vidui. Vidui means confessing your sin. You, it's not something that you don't know what you're doing. You think it's part of the tefillah, and you're not even paying attention to it. That could be that you're not yotze the vidui altogether. So one needs to know at least that what he's doing is a vidui. Although he might not understand every single word that he says, but at least he knows the concept. Right now I'm confessing my sin. That's a very important thing that one needs to understand before he does the mitzvah of vidui.